Hello, hello. Good morning to some. Good evening to others. I am coming off of a 48-hour water fast. Um, and for those 48 hours, I drank nothing but water. Um, my main goal behind my water fast was to get some mental clarity. I feel like I was having some really clouded thoughts and I really couldn't get my head on straight. So usually like a, a water fast or, or meditation or praying kind of helps me to gather my thoughts and get me back centered. Um, the reason I like the water fast is because truly it, it uh, it's me giving my body a, like a full vacation, like a full break. I know like the 18 six and those like, uh, you know, 16 hours of, um, off time is kind of like your body fasting and kind of doing this thing. But when you don't have anything but water, your body starts to repair itself and you start to kind of get some extra waste out of your body. Um, I continue to work out. Uh, biggest thing with the, the water fast, I didn't do it before, was, uh, and I noticed a, a change in my strength because I've done seven day water fast, five day water fast before in the past. And I kind of just needed this little this little two day to kind of go really quick, just because I, I got some things coming up that I'm trying to uh, to do. Um, so I kind of got that done in the the two days, and you know it's nice just to to cleanse your body of of some of that waste. Uh, weight wise, uh, I lost like five pounds a day. Um, you know, I don't really know what that is. I'm pretty sure it's just wasting water. You know, that's just part of our body. It's not, I, I don't do it for a weight loss side, but that is one of the effects of it, of course. If you don't have anything going out and you're still moving, you're still going to the gym. Um, I noticed on day two, uh, I did about an hour on the elliptical and it was amazing. As far as just like, uh, you know, day two, I just woke up with such a clear head and I had so much energy. Um, I broke my fast. Usually everyone's different and I've, I've learned my body and I've learned my process. So for me, when I broke my fast, I had a um, I had some some beef and some eggs and then I had some oatmeal for lunch and then I had my dinner. Starbucks coffee in there somewhere. Um, and now last, uh, at the very end of it, um, my last meal actually after dinner, I had a, uh, like a fruit smoothie kind of just to kind of keep on pushing and I am drinking a fruit smoothie this morning and it's just going to continue the process. Um, if you actually look at your waist, um, it looks a little different than, than you've seen before. And that is all of that extra. That's just kind of always in your body. Um, after I get my plans done, I have a really busy week. Sorry, I can't talk about the my, my all my week that's going on. But it's a very busy week, I can say that much. And when I'm done with my busy week, I do plan on going back for another water fast. Because I still just want to cleanse. And when, you do these, when I do these type of cleanses, I feel like my body uptakes... Uh, nutrition, fruits, vegetables, a lot better than it did before. So that's why I like going on a water fast from time to time. There's nothing bad with them. Um, you need to know your body. You know, everyone can't do it. You really got to um, know your health status. You got to know a lot of things about yourself before you kind of engage in that. And if you're going to go through the process of learning yourself while doing something, I ask that hopefully you do it in a safe way because, you know, some people can faint from not eating um, for too long. Some people get lightheaded. Uh, I noticed on day two, the close to like the 48 hours I in, I went to the sauna. And then kind of when I got out the sauna, I also just finished that hour on the elliptical. And then I did my workout. I wanted to, to switch it up. Because I'm still trying to build endurance and strength. You know, that's the overall goal for me. And I switched it up. And I, when I got out the sauna, I was in the sauna probably about 15 minutes or so. But when I got out the sauna, I felt like my, I was catching like the handshakes. And I was like, due to what I got going on, 
I don't want to uh, push that any further right now. So I decided to break my fast into 48 hours. Um, I did want to take it another day for the 72 hours, but I just don't have the time. So I wanted to reintroduce food, build myself back up because things get moving from your digestive tract during this process. And then it gets moving any even more once you uh, start putting food and stuff back in your body. So I am on my last final stretch of the cleanse. That's going good. And fitness wise, I am working on my consistency and I am working on actually building a good structure for my my workouts. Um, I fall off. I fall off so much all the time. Um, and and that's what I'm working on, kind of staying on board. But I have stayed consistent with still doing something. I'm not in my mode of doing nothing anymore. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll make like a push-pull legs schedule. Something may happen, throw that off. So I don't get right back onto that, but I'm still working out. I'm still putting in some effort, still getting some body weight exercises in, still getting some weights, still getting some cardio of some type, jumping rope, punching bags, moving around, getting steps. I am still doing something. So my progress shows that. Um, it shows, I guess, like the possibly like the lack of consistency, um, mainly on the scale. Uh, I feel like I'd be dropping a lot more weight if I was more consistent. Um, I feel great, you know, I want to feel better. So that's why we continue to keep on going. Um, and that's the journey. So I'm working on building that structure, writing it down. It's a Sounds it's easy for some, harder for some, and I'm still in my hard phase, and I'm, I'm gonna make it easier. I'm gonna make it easier because I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and but I'm not quitting. Not quitting. You know, I'm listening to my body and I'm moving as such. You know, schedule be damned. If my legs are hurting, because you know I, I and I feel like I can get some upper body things done that day. I'll do some upper body days, you know, I'll do some active stretching, I'll do some yoga, I'll do something to keep my body moving, and it all adds up in the end, and that's what I want to tell anybody, you know, you don't have to lift crazy heavy weights, just be consistent with what you're doing, and as your body adapts to that, try to push it a little bit further. Um, I actually picked up, I am not a fitness coach at all but i picked up my first client this client is very special to me and i will be making some videos for this client and i'll make them public so that my client can watch them and that others if they get anything from it that's fine as well this client means a lot to me very dear to my heart so that's why i'm gonna gonna do some videos for him and uh yeah, so I hope everybody has a great day. Appreciate you guys if you stayed for the whole uh, nine-minute rant. I'm looking at the timer now. But um, have a great day. Stay consistent. Do something. It all adds up. Have a good one.